Hallelujah. We welcome each and every one of you for today's time of worship, a time to seek God, a time to experience the touch of God. And as I always say, just a touch from God and everything will change. Let me say that again. Just a touch from God, everything will change. A word from heaven and everything gets transformed. Sometimes we wait for a word from man, right? We wait for our parents to appreciate us. We wait for our husband or wives to speak a good word to us. We wait for our children to appreciate us or to speak a good word over us. Sometimes we wait for people in our workplace, our boss, to speak words of appreciation. But how many a times we are disappointed and how many a times we've seen those same very words that people speak, those good things that people speak over us after a few days or a few years or a few months, from that same very mouth, those very people begin to criticize or condemn or complain against us. But I want to tell you, God speaks good over you. Yeah, God speaks good over you. And one word from God, and everything changes. And that's why more than man, we need to desire God to speak over us. Whenever we sit to worship, whenever we sit to pray in our prayer time, we just need to tell God, speak over me, speak to me. Let your word come like mana into my life. We need to tell God, yes, God, your word is bread for me. Your word is food for me. Knowing very well that a word from him will transform things around you. And a touch from him will change everything, everything. Today, as we get together to worship him, I want you to desire that, a touch from God, a word from God. Because that's all that matters, God speaking over us. Let me say that again. That's all that matters, God speaking over us. When we open up our Bibles to the Gospel of Mark, we see in Gospel of Mark chapter 10 verse 46 onwards, we read of a man named Bartimaeus. It's amazing, right? The name of the man is given here. When you look at the bleeding woman, it's just mentioned bleeding woman. When you look at the leper, it just mentioned a leper. But here it's spoken of his name, Bartimaeus. That means he was a well-known person. And it says, and uh, it says Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus. That means his father too was a very well-known personality in his area. But at the same time, they were going through a very bad patch. Bartimaeus was blind. You know, when you're well known, when you're famous, and some things happen that are not right, some bad things happen or a sickness strikes you, and when people around you know of it, you know, you become the gossip of the town, right? You become the talk of the town. People begin to gossip, speak about you. I'm sure Bartimaeus must have had that same time, that same experience where people were gossiping about him. People were talking about his household and, and showing pity, pity. You know, there's a difference when somebody is compassionate, when somebody is showing compassion towards you and somebody is showing pity. And here the people around Bartimaeus showed him pity. They gave him arms. But they could not get him out of the situation. They could not help him. He was a blind man and he was a beggar. Two identities. A blind man, a beggar. Who is he? He's that man, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus. Blind and beggar. Maybe people are gossiping about you right now. Maybe they're talking about your financial situation and saying, oh, that person there. Oh, they were very well to do and today look at them. Look at them. Look at how pitiful state they are in. Maybe you're going through a sick time and you're trying to hide it from people, but people know about it and are talking about you. Well, I want to tell you, Bartimaeus too must have been the talk of the town. 
He was a beggar and he was a blind man, a hopeless case. But the good news was in that territory, in that area, Jesus was passing by. You see, Jesus did not come there to meet Zacchaeus, uh, Bartimaeus. Jesus did not come. He says Jesus was exiting the town. Now, it was Bartimaeus' choice to reach out and touch Jesus. It was Bartimaeus' choice to lift up his voice and call out to Jesus. If Bartimaeus had just sat down there on the street, just saying, okay, it's my state, it's my situation, let's face it. If Jesus wants, he will stop by me. You know, sometimes we have that mindset, right? It's my situation. I've, I've, I've gotten used to it. It's part of my life. Sometimes we say that, right? And sometimes we also have that mindset that says, yeah, if God wants to touch me, he can touch me anywhere. He can touch me at home. He can touch me as I'm praying at home. But here we see Bartimaeus did not say any of these words. On the contrary, we see what happens. Let's read there from Mark chapter 10, verse 46 onwards. It says, And they came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples, we see here, Jesus is leaving Jericho along with his disciples. Wouldn't it be a sad story if Jesus had left Jericho and Bartimaeus was still the same? Wouldn't it have been sad? Wouldn't it have been a disappointing story? Maybe this account would have never been written in the Bible if Bartimaeus had not stretched out, had not moved out of his comfort zone. And sometimes when we meet God, when we are sitting for our prayer time, maybe as you're sitting there in your house watching right now, and or for those of you who come and sit for the meetings, come for the Sunday service, or come for any other special meetings, sometimes we have that mindset that, uh, you know, we just want to sit down and let Jesus touch us if he, want, if he wants to. Wouldn't that be a sad story? If Jesus would just pass you by, it would have definitely been a sad account if Jesus had exited Jericho without touching Bartimaeus. The same way in our life, it, would have, it, it is a sad story, a sad account. When Jesus' presence moves in our midst and misses us out. Well, I want to tell you, if Bartimaeus had sat there if you just sit there, if you just take it for granted that, okay, if God wants, he will do it, you will miss it out. You will miss that opportunity. You will miss your breakthrough. We see what happens there and with his disciples and the great crowd. Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. He's sitting by the roadside. There's, there's things happening all around him. He's sitting there. Now, he could have continued sitting, right? But see what happens in the next verse. <clears throat> it says there in verse 47, And when he heard that it was Jesus, he heard that it was Jesus. He began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He heard that it was Jesus. The moment he heard it was Jesus, did he sit there? Did he continue on that street corner begging? At the mercy of people, at the pity of people? No, he did not continue. In fact, it says there, he began to cry out. I want to tell you, just sitting down in your, in your situation, taking it for, you know, as part of your life, just getting used to your pain, getting used to your trouble, just, just, just sitting there and saying, okay, if God wants to touch me, he will touch me. Now, here we see Bartimaeus rising up. We see Bartimaeus crying out. We see Bartimaeus crying out. He says, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He's crying out to Jesus. The very next verse, it says, and many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. People around him was like, be quiet, Bartimaeus. We are helping you, now. We are giving you money. We are giving you arms. We are there to lift you, carry you, to take you back home. But you see, 
no matter how many how many people gave him money no matter how many people helped him to get back home maybe they could not set him free we have loved ones around us who really care for us some of us are doing their best to help us come out some of them are help are doing their best to help us to bring us out to to do something for us but the sad fact is nobody can help us except god here the people were rebuking him and saying be quiet but bartimeus did not be quiet it says he cried out all the more he cried out he did not stop i want to speak to you today you have a choice to continue sitting down at the road side like bartimeus sitting down by the side taking your situation for granted you know it's part of my life i'm just used to it or you choose to rise up or you choose to raise up your voice for jesus what is your choice you choose bartimeus chose to shout out shout out to jesus and then it says but he cried out all the more and then it says further in the next verse it says and jesus stopped and said call him i told you one word from jesus and everything changes and here we see jesus stopping stopping jesus was supposed to leave the city he was supposed to get out of jericho he was supposed to get out he was supposed to move on but bartimeus stopped jesus his desperation stopped jesus the people around bartimeus wanted to shut him up you know, sometimes because of people around us we hesitate right we hesitate to worship we hesitate to call on jesus we hesitate to desperately seek after jesus but bartimeus did not let the people stop him today i want to ask you would you let people around you stop you from receiving what god wants to give you if you if you are a people pleaser you will miss miss that opportunity you will miss the presence of god you will miss it jesus will pass you by Jesus would have passed Bartimeus by but Jesus was stopped because Bartimeus cried out he cried out to Jesus it says and Jesus stopped and said call him bring him to me call him one word and everything changed and they called the blind man saying to him take heart get up he's calling you get up he's calling you now Bartimeus could have said ah oh, i'm blind ah oh, if i get up from my position of begging somebody else may take that place ah oh, what will people think about me many of them don't want me to go to him many of them are telling me be quiet but he must could have used his mind but look at what happens next and says and throwing off his cloak he sprang up and came to jesus he threw off his garment he threw off that garment you see his garment was his identity his garment was his identity of being a beggar but when he heard the word from jesus call him he immediately threw off his identity that means by faith he begins to say i will not be a beggar anymore situation had not changed he was still blind even as he's throwing off his cloak he's still blind but he throws it off declaring I'm no more going to be blind and I'm no more going to be a beggar. I want to ask you today. When Jesus passes you by, what would your reaction be? Not just there. When Jesus gives you a word, what would you do about it? You see many a times people receive the word and continue living their old life. Continue doing what they always do. continue with their grumbling their complaining their pity parties continue with their with their depressions that same thought pattern the same language that comes out yeah bartimeus his language before was a beggar's language you know beggar's right please please 
please, arms, arms, please, arms, please. Please help me, please help me. That was, that was his language. Jesus calls him, he throws off the garment and now declares, I'm no more going to beg. I'm no more going to be blind. Would you be the same? Situation has not changed. But he started declaring and living as if it has changed. Now normally I always say this, let's live today what we believe God is going to be doing tomorrow. Let me say that again. Let's live today what we believe God is going to be doing tomorrow. Bartimaeus threw off his garment even before getting healed. Even before his healing, threw it off. I want to ask you today, would you do the same? Would you begin to live today what you believe God is going to be doing tomorrow? When you received that word from God, will you begin to act on it? Will you begin to live that life? Or will you just continue your old ways? Will you continue doing your old things? It's time to introspect. It's time to check our lives. It's time to check. When God spoke that word to me, what was my reaction? Did I act on it? But he threw off his garment, sprang up and came to Jesus. You know, it doesn't say he got up, but he sprang up. That means he was, he jumped up. He was excited and he came to Jesus and then see what happens next and Jesus said to him what do you want me to do for you and the blind man said to him rabbi let me recover my sight he was plain his need was clear and look what happens next and Jesus said to him go your way your faith has made you well and immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. Today I want to speak to you. What is it that you want God to do for you? What is it that you want God to do for you? God is speaking it today to you and saying, would you be like Bartimaeus? Knowing Jesus is passing by, he desperately cried out and said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He was desperate for Jesus to touch him. He was desperate for Jesus to stop and call on him. Are you desperate? Are you desperate for Jesus? It is not just end there. It goes further. Jesus calls him and he throws off his garment. He begins to believe by faith. It is done. He could have come with the garment. You know, he could have come with the garment to Jesus and said, Jesus, pity me, Jesus. Pity me, Jesus. Pity me, Jesus. I'm a beggar. But he throws off his garment. He says, I'm not going to beg anymore. I want to tell you, declare it today. Declare it today. I'm not going to be in lack anymore. If you're sick, I want you to declare today. I'm not going to be sick anymore. If you're having a marriage problem, I want you to declare, I'm not going to have this problem anymore. I want you to make that confession right now. I want you to write it on that chat. I want you to write it on that comment section. I want you to declare it. Speak it out saying I am not going to be who I was because I'm going to live the way God wants me to be I'm going to live today what I see God going to be doing for me tomorrow I want you to declare it Bartimaeus by throwing off his garment declared it that he is going to be changed the days are no more going to be the same again would that be a declaration would you say that come on Come on, people. Write it on that chat. Write it on that comment. I'm no more going to be the same. I'm no more going to be that beggar. I'm no more going to be in lack. I'm no more going to be in sickness. I'm no more going to be blind. I'm no more going to be having arthritis. I'm no more going to have this kidney problem. I'm no more going to have this wheezing. I'm no more going to have this bone issues. I'm no more going to have cancer. I want you to declare it today. By faith, 
Bhakti was through his garment, declared his faith, declared his identity is no more the past. Is going to be new, made new again. And Jesus says, go your way. Your faith has made you well. I want to speak to you the same today. Your faith has made you well. Your faith is what is lifting you up. Your faith is restoring you. Your faith is blessing you. It's all about your faith in Christ Jesus. Not about the works, but about your faith. Patimus heard that word, acted on it, and everything changed. Would you do the same today? I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you. Would you do the same today? There's somebody having your jaws, your jaws over here, this area. You get some kind of a pain and I believe God is healing you. There's someone else, your back, middle back. Your middle back is paining you. Oh yeah, receive your healing right now. Receive that healing right now. There's somebody, you're having an infection on your feet, your toes. Something to do with your feet, your feet, your toes. I can see the picture of your feet and your toes. Some kind of a infection, some kind of a skin problem. And God is touching it right now. There's somebody, you've got some allergic reactions to your, you know, you constantly get sneezing. You constantly uh, find uh, some kind of an ir irritation in your nasal passage. God is right now healing it. There's somebody having a kind of a sinusitis, sinusitis. God is healing it right now. There's somebody having COVID, symptoms of COVID. You know, you're having symptoms of COVID and you're, you find it sometimes, uh, you find it difficult to breathe. You're getting some kind of a breathless feeling. I believe God is healing you. Somebody is having some kind of irritation on the throat. I believe God is healing you right now. There's somebody by name of Josephine. Josephine, I want to tell you that you've been through a, a difficult time. You've been through terrible, terrible times. There are times that you don't even get sleep. But I want to tell you, God is with you. And God is with you to help you out. He will make a way in your life. He will make a way. He will make a way. Josephine, I'm speaking to you. He will make a way in your life. There's somebody else, your stomach, you've... You've got a problem. I think there's an infection. Infection in the stomach. Infection in the stomach. I believe there's some problem with your stomach issue. And it's also affecting many other parts of your body. I believe God is healing it right now. You are being healed. You are being healed. There's somebody having a problem on your little finger. The problem goes on. From the finger it goes on. I believe God is healing it right now. I'm getting the name Ruth. Ruth. I believe God is touching Ruth right now. I'm getting that name Ruth. I believe God is touching Ruth right now. I give you praise, Father. I give you praise. I give you praise. Yes, 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 God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Change it for that person. There's somebody right now you've been asking God, change the things around me, change my situation, God. God, I've been asking you to do it. You know, you've been praying this, and I believe God is saying right now, He's going to transform things for you. He's going to transform. There's a little by little, there's somebody troubling you. There's one person that's really troubling you. He's the main person because of which things are not working right. And God is going to pluck him up. Pluck him up and put him out of your life. He's going to he's going to make a way in your life. Oh Rabba Shanda Raya Base in the lay Hindu to Yabahara Yara De and Dalaya Re and I want to speak to Frank, Frank, somebody named Frank, Frankie or Frank. I want to tell you that God has been faithful to you all these years. He's been faithful to you. It's time that you begin to turn to him. Give him the first place. Stand with him and he will never, never, never disappoint you. You've been moving in and out with God. You're in with him sometimes. Sometimes you move out with, from him. You sometimes do your own things. I want to tell you, it's time to just be 
with God. He's been faithful. You walk with him and see what he can do in your life. Oh, Rabbi, Shandalai, Rabbi, say, aka, oh, Mahasat, Shandalai. There's somebody having some kind of a problem with your head, your head, and I believe God is touching you. Someone's getting stomach issues in regards to motions. It's like you're having uh, problems controlling your bladder, your, your bowels, and uh, I believe God is healing it right now. You know, it's constantly you feel like going to the toilet. You get that feeling and it's troubling you. I believe God is healing you. Come on, let's just worship. Let's tell him it's all about you, Jesus. Let's tell him it's all about you, Jesus.
Yes, it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, God. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. Oh. All about you, all about you, Jesus. All about, oh Jesus. It's all about you, God. It's all about you, God. Come on, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. People of God, it's all about you. All I am, the day. Konaya Bashubaran, the day of a son, the day. It's all about you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about. Yes, it's all about you, all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, all about you, all about you, Lord, all about you, all about you, Lord. All about you, Lord. Yes, it's all about you. All about you. All about you, God. Yes, it's all about, all about, all about you, Lord. Yes, it's all about, all about, all about you, Lord. Yes, it's all about. All about, all about you, Jesus. All about you, Jesus. Yes, it's all about you, Jesus. Come on, come on, tell him, God. It's all about you, God. It's not about me. It's not about what I do. It's not about what I sing. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. Come on, just soak in him. Just soak in his presence. Just soak, soak in him. Just get desperate for him. Touch him. In him is your healing. In him is your blessing. In him your freedom in him is life come on people of God wherever you are lift up your hands worship him touch his glory touch his presence that's where your healing is that's where your freedom is that's where your blessing is it's in Jesus it's in Jesus about you, God. He and the lay, lay, lay. He and the lay, lay, lay. I say fire over your life today. I pray, Father, wherever they are, visit them today. Visit that house. Visit that child. Visit that brother. Visit that sister. Touch that person. 
that person wearing red, I pray right now, touch that person, God. Visit them, visit them, visit them, visit them, God. I pray, Father, touch your people today. Touch them. It's all about you, God. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, God. It's all about you, God. Oh, yes. Yes, God. He or I am the light. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about, all about. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about, all about. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about. All about, all about you, Jesus. Jesus. It's all about him. It's all about him. I want to tell you, keep your eyes fixed on him. Wherever you are right now, just keep your eyes fixed on him. Fix it on Jesus. He's passing you by. He's passing you, sister. He's passing you by, brother. It's happening right now. I see somebody, you're wearing red, and I can see God's presence just touch you. He's touching you. There's somebody, you've been, there's a man, it's a man. You've been crying, you've been crying out to God. You've been asking God, when will your time come? When will things change? I want to tell you, God speaks over your life today and says, brother, look to God. Look to God. Look to God. He is the answer to your situation. You know, the scripture that comes to me to tell you is, can a mother forsake her own? Yet, even if she does, God will not forsake you. There's somebody else. I see, I see your financial situation. Your present situation is so bad. You've, it's like I, I, I see people owing you money. There's money out. You are going through a lot of problems. You are personally going through lack. There are things that are happening that are really crushing you. But I want to tell you, all those people that owe you, stop looking to them, look to God. God will turn hearts. God will turn situations. God will twist or turn things for your, for your, for your benefit. Yes, stop looking around and you will begin to see how God will do things for you. I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise. I get the name Celine, I get the name Celine, I get the name Celine, and I see God crowning you. I see God crowning you. Celine, if you're watching, or maybe you're going to watch, I want to tell you, God is crowning you. That means I believe whatever you have faced, whatever you've been through, the time for crowning has come. The time for honor has come. And God's going to lift you up. I give you praise, God. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I want to speak to Shilpa. I see, I see clouds above you. I see clouds above you. I see, I see. Through, through those clouds, I see a light hitting over your life. The clouds, it seems, it seems gray. It seems, it seems like covering you, pressing you. But I want to tell you, it's like, it's, it's not the cloud, the cloud of glory. It's the cloud that seems to be, seems to be disturbing you troubling you but I want to tell you the light of God the fire of God the power of God is falling upon your life not just that 
from there i see him holding your hands and leading you everything's going to be all right all is going to be well all is well he's going to place you on a higher ground he's going to honor you he's going to he's going to put put his words into your mouth it's going to be a blessing to so many around you oh i give you praise god i give you praise i give you praise i give you praise i give you praise thank you father come on let's speak in tongues speak in tongues whenever you are speaking tongues ora shanda laya bastore yeah yeah thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord there's somebody somebody i see god just lifting up your hands is lifting you up from a from pit from a pit is lifting you up from a pit i see i see you are in a pit in a, in regards to your family life you are in a problem in regards to finances you are in a problem in regards to your own self you are in a problem many a times you feel like giving up on life and i see god just lifting you up yeah he's lifting you up there's somebody by name i see i see uh, i see the word glory grace grace glory and i see god just touching you i see the hand of god just touching your back i don't know what's your problem exactly maybe there's a healing of your back that's needed or maybe there's something of your past that god is bringing you know healing to and from there on he will take you on he will walk with you he will just not heal you he will continue to work in and through you oh i give you praise father there's somebody having issues conceiving a child you're having problem conceiving a child and there's lot of health issues and i i i believe god is touching you right now there's someone else having a hand problem i believe god is healing it oh i give you praise father i give you praise I give you praise. It was just one word from Jesus that changed Bartimeus's life. Bring him to me. Call him. Just that word and everything changed. I want to tell you today Jesus is calling you. He's calling you to him. And as you begin to draw near to him, everything around you is going to change. everything around you is going to change i see the name anthony anthony i i just i can see i can see you 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 are you are very disappointed you're going through struggles and frustrations on the inside things are not working the way you wanted to i see i see there's somebody plotting against you somebody who is trying to squeeze you or crush you but i see god telling me to tell you he is your protector he is your shield he is your defense and he is your way maker isn't that amazing he is the one who will make the way for you and that not just there he is the one who will honor you he is the one who will honor you so you don't need to look around just keep looking up and you will see the faithfulness of god oh we worship you god we worship you jesus come on let's just worship him let's just call upon his name let's just call upon his name
तेरे नाम के लिए जिए हम तेरे नाम के लिए जिए हम तेरे नाम के लिए जिए हम तू बड़े मैं गतू से महिमा तुझे मिले तू बड़े मैं गठू मेरे जीवन से महिमा तुझे मिले
sing it. Sing it, sing it. right now God have your way in me let that be the prayer of your life let that prayer be your desire right now God have your way in me you increase and I decrease you increase and I decrease you increase and I decrease oh yeah Thank you, God. I just pray for somebody. Somebody is having a problem in your marriage. And I believe God wants to speak to you and say, be at peace. Don't be, don't be disturbed. Don't, don't be stressed out. Trust in me, said the Lord. And I will set everything in order. Don't fight it with your strength. Don't fight it with your wisdom. Just trust in me and I will set everything in order. There's someone else, I see you. I see you right now on your knees. Your hands are opened up before God. And you're telling God, do it, God. I know you're going to do it, do it, God. I know, God. I know, I sh I'm sure that you have good, good plans for my family. This, is, this has been your, your, your thoughts. And I want to tell you that God's right now moving in your life. God's moving in your household. God's moving in your children. And everything's going to be put in order. All that is disturbing you, He's going to put it in order. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And you will see what He can do. There's someone having a problem with the one eye, your one eye, and I believe God is healing it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, right now, I want you to put all your prayer requests on that, on the chat or on the comments, so that we can pray for you, not just me, but my team as well can pray for you, can, can lift you up in prayer. Put your prayer request. Put it before God. I know the presence of God is in this place. I know the presence of God is where you are right now. I know His presence is there. Just put your prayer request. Tell Him. It's as if God, Jesus asking Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? And Bartimaeus speaks and says, I want you to see. Right now God is asking you, what do you want me to do for you? Write down. Write it down what, what it is that you want us to pray for you for. And I believe that God's going to be answering it. I believe that those who are hurt, 
God will begin to comfort those who are sick. God is going to heal. Holy Spirit, I just lift up all the prayer needs right now to you. All those who asked us to pray for them, I pray right now, Father. Touch them right now. Touch them, Father. Touch that, touch that person having bones problem, arthritis. Touch that person having kidney problems. Touch that person who's not having proper sleep. Touch that person who's finding it difficult financially to meet, make, to make ends meet. Touch that person right now, Father, who's suffering from COVID. Touch that person, God, who's who's jobless. Yes, God, touch them. Touch them, Father. Touch Sylvia, God. Touch her right now in the name of Jesus. Touch, Father. Touch Connie, God. Touch, touch them, Father. Touch Holy Spirit. Touch, Father. Touch, Father. Touch, Father. Touch, Father. Touch, Father. Touch, Father. Touch, touch Christy, Father. Christiana, Christy. Touch them, Father. Touch, Father. Touch them, Holy Spirit. Yes, God. And every prayer need that is put upon the wall right now, put upon the chat, I pray, Father. Let it be an incense before you. Let it rise up before you. And I ask you, God, show yourself. Show your power. Make every, every cry. Make every tear that has been shed. Answer it, God. Answer it, God. We know, God, there are things that sometimes you do it in your way, not our way, but whichever way, God. Do it, God. Answer that prayer, God. Answer their cry, God. And show yourself with great power over their lives. I give you all the praise for today, God. I give you all the praise for what you are doing right now. I give you all the praise, God. I know that, that you have a perfect plan over every one of us. And I pray, Father, establish it, show it, reveal it, and glorify the name of Jesus in each one of our lives, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray, Father. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. I'm sure you must be blessed. I'm sure there are things that God is doing in your life that's a testimony for all to know and hear and be blessed with. And that's why we encourage you, share your testimony with us. Write to us, tell us, or comment it if you've been blessed. If the word has blessed you, tell, speak it, write it. The word has blessed me today. If you're healed, write it, I am healed. Whatever it is that God has done, testify about it. Also, if you're a first-time viewer, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Click onto the bell icon, the, the subscribe button as well, so that you are updated with all our teachings. Do you know that we upload every day daily devotions so that you can start your day in the presence of God with the Word of God? And the Word of God really strengthens us to carry on the day. So click onto that subscribe button so that you are updated, not just there, Share the video, share this link so that others too would be blessed. For those who are partnering with us, you know, there are so many people that are sacrificially sowing into the work that we are doing. Even in this pandemic, people have stood with us. Why? Because God has blessed them and now they want to be a blessing. We want to thank everyone who's partnering with us. It's not easy, I know, but I want to tell you every seed you sow, Everything that you put into the kingdom of God, God will give it back to you in amazing measures. Sometimes it may not come the same way, but surely he will bless you in different ways. Maybe your family, maybe your health, maybe your finances, maybe your job. But every seed you're sowing into the work, you will surely reap in your life. So I want to thank everyone who's partnering with us. And for those of you who are watching us, we want to encourage you, stand with the work of God. Sow into the work. 
partner with us. If you want to partner with us, you can call upon the prayer line. You can call upon the number and speak to us. We will direct you what needs to be done. We will also guide you what we do for you when you become a partner with us. So once again, stand with us with the work of God. We are also praying to start ministry in Pune. Yeah, we are praying about it. We are waiting for God to just open the door. And uh, so if you, if you are from Pune or from, from any part of Maharashtra and you want to stand with us, let us know, contact us, message us, email us so that we can, we can meet you and plan what we can do ahead in that place. Also, we are praying to start a TV ministry, yeah, to start a satellite channel and uh, we are just waiting on God to start working, connecting us with the right people and also to open the doors for the finances as well. So once again, if you're blessed, don't forget, be a blessing. Yeah? As you know, we have our uh, Thursday healing and deliverance every Thursday at 6 p.m. India time. On Sunday, 11 o'clock morning, we have India time, we have our live uh, praise and worship and the word as well, the Sunday service. And on Tuesdays, we broadcast our teachings, yeah, Bible teachings. So we encourage you, stay tuned. So till we see you again, don't forget to join us for these meetings. Take care, stay safe, and stay blessed. Bye-bye.